everyone welcome to my channel so today I'm gonna to go through my capsule wardrobe for spring summer so I did at the beginning of March I did the switch over between autumn and spring but I still kept a lot of cashmere sweaters and uh, very cozy pajamas for this time of the year because it's still very chilly here in the UK but now getting a little bit warmer so I decided to do a little bit of a tweak on my wardrobe. I have actually an IKEA number that I bought uh, when we moved into this house. I think it's very useful. I don't need more than that. I really appreciate the philosophy behind the capsule wardrobe, which is all about minimalistic, having everything that you wear currently per season on your wardrobe, and that's pretty much it. At the end of the day, having on the wardrobe staples things that excite me uh, wearing and things that I would like to treasure and enjoy throughout season. It's a bit of a refresher. I hope that you enjoy and that will give you ideas and uh, inspire you to declutter a little bit or just to give like a, a small tweak on your wardrobe. Uh, if you like this video, please uh, press the button like, subscribe if you haven't yet and mark on the comments, share your idea, your staples on your wardrobe. What do you enjoy the most wearing? What are your key pieces? I will appreciate your comments on the section below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on my next video. So what I like to do here, I remove everything from the wardrobe. So these ones, they actually, they belong to my work wardrobe. So I'm going to put them in a different uh, closet. But here, the idea is really to put those pieces that make me happy and potentially I'm going to wear it in spring. So I have the classic trench coat. You possibly you saw it uh, on my uh, uh, spring five outf outfits idea. If you didn't, have a look on my channel and I can link it below as well for you. Uh, so you can have a look at uh, this rusty trench coat you have a new dress from zara not too sure what i'm gonna do with it uh, potentially maybe i'll possibly tailor it a little bit because i really enjoy the print i'm gonna leave this one and then i have this skirt as well is one of my favorites i bought this one expecting charlotte and i really love it it's very classic color and i love wearing it on this end over here I have this lovely cardigan I bought a couple of them in Uniqlo and I absolutely love them it's a layering piece really nice for summer uh, especially here because I always feel like I need a cardigan and a scarf so I normally is my go-to uh, on summer so I wear this one this was another piece that I feature on my first video on the channel and it is the uh, yellow dress from a couple of seasons ago from Zara. It's a very elegant uh, dress. I really like the fabric and I will definitely wear it a little bit like I wore on the video. This is the other cardigan that I was mentioning, uh, the Uniqlo one. And again, I really like these shades as well because you can style with everything. This is one of my favorite skirts. This is an old Zara one. It is a maxi skirt and I tend to play with it and I will definitely wear it more to go out. Even with trainers, I think it's a fantastic look. Really nice fabric. You can dress it up and down. So I'm going to keep this one. This was a dress that I bought when I was expecting Charlotte and I really like it, but I tend to wear it more for winter than for summer. I'm not too sure if this will go well on my wardrobe at the minute. I don't know if I'm going to be wearing it as much, to be honest. So what I will do, I'm going to put it aside for now because I'm not too sure if we will go back on my wardrobe. So this belonged to my cousins, uh, but obviously it's too small for me. But I might do something for myself or I might do something for Charlotte. This one is a keeper. 
this is one of my favorites it's a stripy top I like this detailing as well this is a couple of seasons old from Zara uh, and I love wearing it just with jeans with culottes or with white jeans I really love the look it I'm not feeling this type of shades on my wardrobe uh, like this uh, dress as well uh, it's a beautiful dress but I tend to wear it more for winter than for summer so this is something that I'll put aside for now this on the other hand is definitely a spring summer look uh, I wore this one for Charlotte's second uh, birthday and I have beautiful photos on it it really makes me happy it makes me smile I tend to wear it more as a dress but uh, it will look really nice with jeans as well underneath so then you have a nice tee I bought this one from H&M and I really like these earthy tones so this one will definitely go here and then you have another number that I feature on my first video as well so it's the crochet style I really like this one and I think I'm gonna wear it these are my two um, leather jackets it has this distress feeling I love the fact that it has a belt love the buttons uh, I wear it you know in many occasions uh, style even with with a piece like this like a dress for winter with boots uh, or uh, just with jeans very dressed down veggie look is one of my favorites it will fit on my wardrobe for sure so this one will stay and also my latest uh, addition uh, the biker jacket black leather uh, from Zara something that I really enjoy having on my wardrobe it added a lot to it it is uh, really one of those uh, investment pieces that will take you throughout seasons so with the 70s uh, inspiration uh, trend that came this season I picked up this piece second hand and I absolutely love the fabric it's almost like a pyjama inspired piece especially with jeans you know with the cami and sole underneath it's one of my favorites at the moment so this one will go back in this is a gap button down denim shirt that I bought uh, as well a few seasons ago and I love it it's a fantastic layering piece for summer um, you know with the roll sleeves I've been wearing it as well with my uh, pencil leather skirt which I think mm, is a fantastic you know way of styling leather so I style this I wore this actually for Charlotte's birthday this year so I paired the denim shirt button-down shirt with my leather skirt and I actually looked really nice uh, I have a, a, a small photo I think I can I can put it here for you to have a look nothing fancy I didn't manage to take photos of myself on the day but uh, yes that was the look on the day my culottes from River Island uh, they are fantastic I love it they are very summery really good fabric as well so these ones will go back in this one it is see-through little black dress that I wear normally with a cami underneath and with jeans it's a beautiful piece it's a nice uh, layering piece um, as well if you are on holiday and if you'd like something you know dressier it's one of my favorites so I have it for a long time actually in terms of denim what do we have I have some skinny jeans that I bought from Zara uh, they are not the most flattering ones so I'm gonna have a think because I don't wear denim now for over a year they don't fit me well so it it's no point to have them really on the wardrobe if you are not wearing them a little bit tidier so I'm just gonna put actually my belts I haven't been worn any belts at all but maybe this season I'm gonna be able to play around still a little bit this dress I wore it for my birthday this year and I really love it it's quite sweet I love the pattern I think styled with just jeans underneath uh, it is a very uh, cool look uh, very uh, romantic style and I really like these shades as you can see I'm not doing by carefully I'm just putting color coding I feel like it works best for me when I'm looking at my wardrobe for me the essential part is that I'm having enough pieces that I can coordinate pieces that excites me 
so that's my main concern when i'm doing my capsule wardrobe am i going to wear this when was the last time that i wore this piece so that is on my my mind when i'm selecting the clothes that i'm putting on in terms of jeans my most worn jeans there are actually three pairs at the moment they are the mom jeans from zara then i have a pair from Primark which are fantastic the fit is amazing and they are on the wash at the moment which are Zara as well high-waisted mom jeans are the three pairs that I'm gonna keep on my wardrobe for this season nothing else always go back to uh, this long uh, three-quarter sleeve printed uh, Moroccan style love wearing it it's something that uh, normally uh, I wear when I'm away on holiday but also I've been wearing it as well, even with my joggers. I just put them on top if I want to feel a little bit more dressier. I actually, I can post a, a picture here for you. I styled it on the other day with, uh, with a stripy tee. So this one will, will go back. These are the tees that I've been wearing, my Levi's. Uh, stripy one old one from Zara then I have this stripy one again something that I normally wear just to be around the house or not to go out for our daily walk so I have some stripy ones I'm gonna add them here these ones are definitely going to storage because they, it's too hot already to wear these. This burgundy knit, it is actually perfect knit for now, but I just feel like the collar, it's not something that I enjoy wearing it now, it's something more towards autumn. So I'm going to keep it uh, aside and I'll pull it out once autumn comes. One last piece that really needs to go on my wardrobe is always my my uh, granny cardigan. This is one of the few pieces that I have from her, and I absolutely love it. So this one will definitely go back in. 